a beautiful but cloudy and windy good morning from Düsseldorf Airport. Yeah, you hear it right, I'm again in Düsseldorf. When I start my journey from home, I have three airports not far away from home. That's Frankfurt, Cologne, Bonn and Düsseldorf. I'm really early at the airport because I came directly from work or from my night shift and now I'm on top of car park number seven because here I have a beautiful view over the whole apron and both runways. However, today I want to fly with Air France in their business class from Düsseldorf to Marseille with a little stopover in Paris. Tomorrow I have a really special flight from Marseille with a unique airplane, but this will be another video, so if you want to see it, stay tuned on my channel. I will enjoy now this views till it's time to check in and then let's find out what Air France offers in their business class to Paris. I'm now inside the terminal A and B of Düsseldorf Airport. I mean, the views from the car park are really awesome, but it was simply too cold outside. We have winter soon, so I'm now inside again and I need a hot coffee. And then I will find the checking counters. Air France and KLM use the same checking counters here at Düsseldorf. I hope I can check in soon because the security control looks so chaotic like during the public holiday this summer. I hope it gets quickly, but I don't think so. Finally made it through the security control. I wait now at the area of the B gates. Hopefully my flight is leaving from the B gates. It should be departing from gate B75. But last time when I flew with Eurowings here from Düsseldorf to Prague, my flight was scheduled from the B gates and they changed it to the A gates. However, it's not a big problem. I'm so happy that I'm here because 
The waiting time in front of the security control was not so bad like I expected. It took me about 25 minutes, so for Dusseldorf, really not bad. I think I will check out a lounge now here at the B gates is the Hugo Junkers lounge located. You can enter this lounge every time with your priority pass. If you want to know more about the American Express Platinum Card and the Priority Pass, check out the link in the description below. And now, let's go to the lounge and enjoy one or two drinks and wait for the flight. And this is the Hugo Junkers lounge. Again, I have the same seat like on my last flight. And as a Air France business passenger, you can access this lounge for free. If you don't have a business class ticket, you can use your priority pass or you can pay directly 27 euro at the lounge entrance. The lounge is open from 5 a.m. in the morning till 9 p.m. And this time I'm really impressed by the food. Last time it was not so great, but today we have a lot of choices, some cold dishes like salad and some hot meals like chicken with rice, vegetables, some nice desserts like chocolate mousse and yogurt. So all in all, I think it was a great idea to spend this time here. The flight today is operated by HOP. HOP is a part of Air France and they operate mostly their shuttle flights between Paris and other European destinations, like also KLM City Hopper or Lufthansa City Line. My plane will arrive shortly from Paris and it is an Embraer 190. The Embraer 190 was delivered in July 2009 to Air France, that means 13 years old for now. This plane offers 100 seats in total in a 2-2 configuration. The first five rows are in business class and the rest is economy class.
welcome on board Air France Business Class here inside the Embraer 190. The boarding is still in progress. As a business class passenger, you can board the plane as the first. And it looks like that the flight is completely full. There are so many people waiting at the gate area. I'm not really sure if the seat next to me stays free or not. We will see. I sit today in row 4. The seat is 4K and it's the last row of business class. Okay, the boarding is finished and I have no seat neighbor. I'm lucky today. I get already a welcome drink, so I hope this will be a good flight and cheers! Before we go on our way to Paris, let's talk a little bit about the seats here. The business class seats are in a 2-2 configuration. We have leather seats and I would say the seat pitch is really good. They look a little bit outdated but I have enough space for my legs so everything is fine. In front of me I have just a tray table, an air sickness bag and the safety card. That's it, there are no in-flight magazines but more about this I will tell you during the flight. And now, yeah, the doors are closed, let's start the engines and go to Paris. Right after the takeoff, the cabin crew closed the curtains between business and economy class. Yeah, there are dividers between both classes. And then they started their service. Here in business class, we get a proper meal. I'm not really sure what it is. There is no menu card, but I would say it's something like a mousse with some nuts and mushrooms, cheese, a little dessert, a bun, and a drink. For me, champagne again. So I would say let's give it a try.
Wow, it's really cold, but not bad. It's tasty. I like it. And now, cheers, and I try to enjoy this flight. Devant vous. Veuillez attacher et ajuster votre ceinture de sécurité. Redresser. And this is the lavatory right in front of the business class behind the cockpit. It's rather small, you can see it on my head, and really nothing special. There you see it, I have to go to my seat again. And we have just the soap, some tish tissues, and that's it. It's clean, it's okay, but nothing special. This Embraer 190 is not equipped with Wi-Fi. Other planes of their France fleet offers Wi-Fi, but here, this 13 years old plane has no Wi-Fi. I told you already, there is no in-flight magazine, but right before the takeoff, you can download the Air France Play app, and there you have a lot of magazines and newspapers. You can download everything for free, but there is just a small selection of English or other languages. The most of them are in French, so if you want to read it, I found 12 magazines in English and 4 newspapers. It looks like this and yeah, you just need to think about if you want to use it, download everything before you get inside the plane. Now I don't have any Wi-Fi, so I can't download it. That's bad, but it is like it is. Wow, this flight was so short. I just finished my meal and we started our descent already. You see it? We are right inside the clouds. And yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, business class or premium flights are over so shortly. But what can I do? So now enjoy the views out of the window and see you on the ground for my summary of this flight.
Welcome to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. I finally made it. But you have to know, if you fly with HOP, they have their own terminal, Terminal 2G. And if you have to transfer here at Charles de Gaulle Airport, you have to take the shuttle bus. That is something, it's really not great, but what can we do? Now I'm here and I think this video is long enough and I have to catch my second flight now. So what can I say about this flight? I'm not a hundred percent impressed but it was okay i mean the crew was really friendly they were lovely the food was great the champagne not every airline in europe offers champagne on their short haul business class flights here on hop you get it only the seats i i mean it's an european business class you have to know the seats are not so great like in asia or america that's another world but a 2-2 configuration, no free seat. Normally I was lucky today, but if you're not lucky, then there sits someone next to you in business class. That's... no thanks, that's something I don't like. Yeah, okay, what can I say more? This flight was simply too short and yeah, now I want to go to Marseille, so I hope you like this video, if you like it you can subscribe my channel, a lot more coming, tomorrow will be a special flight and now I have to say bye bye from Paris.